we looked into getting some tours of around the city, but if you do what we did and get a central location, you can walk to most of the places yourself. We're going to take a look at the chocolate museum. And also the house of Jade. I said I got the best education of Jade. Here in Guatemala, there's two stones, two particular stones of Jade that you can only find them right here in this area. We will be touring a cathedral and giving you tips on how to go about making the most of your trip in Antigua, Guatemala. Well, now we're going to be heading to... The Chocolate Factory, the Chocolate Museum. You might just have to uh, come live here. Let's check out the Chocolate Museum. If you are interested knowing about the Mayan history, Antigua is the right place to start. Why? Because Guatemala until today has a rich Mayan culture alive with food traditions like the chocolate cocoa. That's better than Nutella. <laughs> For the Mayans, the cacao is really important in this civilization. The Mayans used the beans and invented one special process for a make cacao paste. And in this Chaco Museo, we have a workshop with this information, okay? Exists the fermentation, drying, roasting, peeling, and grinding. These steps are for the Mayan. Mix this, and you drink in the hot chocolate. The base and sugar for 22 hours. Okay, so it's, uh, what is that? Like, it just, um, in just a few minutes, you can learn so much about the culture, the history, and taste some delicious chocolate. Um, that was a really cool experience, and, and very interesting too, because I've tried local Belizean chocolate, and it, it's not really a flavor I've cared for, so I didn't know if it was just not, but to learn also that different regions produce different notes or flavors in their cocoa means makes a whole lot of sense. Gonna have to try Belizean chocolate again, give it another look, and now I know a little more about the history and how it's made. One of the tours you must do is to visit La Catedral to give you understanding of the Mayan system. It's really a pleasure to meet you. Very welcome to Guatemala. My name is Sergio Castillo. I grew up in Antigua, Guatemala. This is my beautiful city. It is made in 1678. When the cathedral was done, people made it off. The central nave, two processional naves, 18 lateral chapels, 72 windows, 68 domes, and top of it, I mean minor cupolas, major cupolas, as well as three important bell towers, such as the one behind it, and two more of those in the front. Is this, this this building? Absolutely, but everything fell over because of the earthquakes yeah. in 1773. Oh my goodness. Who built the cup? Mayans. The same material in the cup. Who made the Catholic churches in Antigua? Mayans as well. And above the capital, you can see the four evangelists. But look at the arcane, oh, like burning yes. the copal incense. By the way, still today, Mayans are doing it, even in Tikal, Shunaku yes. Beach, Caracol, Lamanay. Mm -hmm. Because in 1871, we got the freedom about religion again. Mm -hmm. In Guatemala, Catholics, Evangelical, Protestant, Mormons, Witness of Jesus Christ. But look at the decoration around the archangels. This is the corn field, white corn. Because corn has been, it is and it will be the most important staple. What do we eat the most in Guatemala? Corn tortillas, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. In this tour, we paid a guide to understand the complexity and simplicity of the Mayan civilization as it was forced to adapt into a modern world. You wouldn't regret taking this tour. So where are we going next, Leah? We're gonna check out the Jane Museum. Okay, well, welcome to Guatemala. Thank you for visiting House of Jane. My name is Darío. It will be a pleasure um, to share with you something about the Mesoamerican culture, talking about our national stone. As you can see, this is the rough jade. That's how we now we are here. Antigua, Guatemala. Remember, nephrites you can find in 25 different countries worldwide. But Jedi only in four. In Asia, Japan, Myanmar, Russia, and here one. According to the archaeologists, the only evidence that we have that we can show you about the Mayan process. And for the kind of tools, we can think maybe in one technique. Maybe jade with jade, something yeah. like, like this, jade carbon jade. Can I touch it? Really jade? Yes. 
Oh, isn't that amazing? And Which these would make are... sense, yeah. If you didn't have diamonds, how else are you going to... Exactly. Gonna... Uh, or some, something like this, jade, carbon jade. Mm. That's the only evidence we have. It's impossible to believe that they made something like this using only that kind of tools. Very famous pieces. Mm, the famous funeral thing. masks. Yeah. Original one is big. This is a replica we can make. But let me show you something very special here. Look. Remember, all the funeral masks, Mayan made something like this. We still follow the same technique that they use. A wooden base, and then, like a puzzle, piece by piece, they stick the yeah, jade on the green uh, and remember to subscribe and to watch Antigua Guatemala travel to give you more understanding of this beautiful city. And now I want to give you some tips as you prepare to travel. Majority of the main museums like the Chocolate Museum, the Jade Museum and the Casa of Artesanía Museum and there are some other museums that are for free. Is We've literally just stayed in one tiny section of the city. Five minutes one direction to the market, five minutes uh, to the park here and there's so much to do within that little square mile. We need to make another trip to actually see the coffee the old, old city. Yes. Because this is the second oldest before they moved to Guatemala City, but the original city, love to see, but have to do a whole trip with that. So maybe find a hotel close to that area and get to explore everything that has to offer. For the, the, the volcano tours, we want to catch taxis and stuff too, but. And you can do it. So much to do right in the city. Right. And it's safe to walk and it's safe to, and one of the main reasons why you should go to Antigua, Guatemala is because they speak English wherever you go. They focus so much on tourism that they make it so friendly for you to travel and experience this beautiful city of Antigua, Guatemala. Keep it unbelievable and don't be scared and be smart and follow.